Oh, that's the trick play with the Ember Heart Challenger right there. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. the greedy one mana keep still pops him off right there. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you because we are running mice again one of the most popular deck one of the more popular decks right here but we're not doing boros mice we're doing red mice and these mice are not nice they are not nice mice with the spice trying to slice with the heat trying to beat um that was terrible guys look at that everything is two or less wow are we aggro are we aggro ladies and gentlemen this is mice aggro sacrifice explosion fling you cannot beat it. Look at this stuff right here, man. <laughs> Everything in one little compact compartment right here. So before we get down to this one, guys, before I show you how this explosive mice works, I need you to do something for me, which is, of course, tenderly press that like button, gently press that subscribe button, because if you don't, if you don't press the like and subscribe button, well, guys, you will be attacked by the like and subscribe, which you may or may not know is a YouTube werewolf. Uh... Who, are, who is going to absolutely brutally maul you for not liking the video and subscribing to the channel and becoming a villain today. Join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all live stream goodness. We'd love to have you there live in, in person in Twitch or uh, we'll have you on U YouTube. You hit that bell, you'll be notified when we go live on YouTube. Either one is perfectly fine. You check out our Discord community for all latest news, information, post your decks, uh, ask for help, post memes, whatever you want is going to be in there in the Discord. And of course, this deck and all the other ones that I build are going to be available down below on my Aetherhub. So, what are we talking about when we talk about explosive mice? Um, well, we got a couple of new things. We got old faces and new faces. We'll start with old faces right here. Cacophony Scam. You know if we're doing exploding, this goblin is going to explode real good like. One red, one one, when Cacophony Scamp enters the battle, deals combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice it. If you do, proliferate, which means you add one counter, and then if it dies, it deals equal damage to its power to any target. This is going to be a great explodey guy right here, but there's other explodey guys that we can do as well. We really want to punish people for playing removal by damaging them on that and setting up our fling plays as we may or may not want them right there. So he's a great one drop. As you can see, there's nothing more than two drops. We're going aggro beyond aggro, guys. So this is really aggressive. Felonious Rage. Here's one that I haven't done too much. I haven't used this guy too much because honestly, it's weird to make an Azorius Detective afterwards. It feels weird to put in a red deck. But part of the reason that we want this so bad is because if we are specifically killing our own creatures, um, then uh, we actually get a payoff on it. So if we're able to target our creature, which will trigger Valiant, which is a new ability on mice, target creature you control gets plus two and uh, plus zero and, uh, and gains haste until the end of turn. Uh, when that creature dies, you create a two, two white and blue detective creature token. Very, very useful stuff right there. Extremely, extremely powerful. Um, and it will trigger Valiant. It'll push more damage. And when things explode and do their power, it will add to that and give us a top end. And it's a common card. So now onto the mice that I'm talking about that are extremely useful. Heart, Fire Hero. You're going to be seeing a lot of this uncommon card here. It is a brutal, brutal card. It is a terrible punishment to put on somebody. One red, one one. Mouse Soldier. He is the Heartfire Hero. Uh, whenever Heartfire Hero becomes the target of a spell or ability you control for the first time each turn, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So the Valiant is whenever he gets targeted with a spell, he gets a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Fantastic. Love it. And then when he dies, it deals damage equal to the power of each opponent. So you actually want to set up this guy to die and explode, either by destroying him on purpose or by tricking people into killing him and then suddenly upping his power. So that's what's so interesting about him. You can pay one, one red for a Heartfire Hero, put Felonious Rage on him, all of a sudden he gets plus one, plus one, he gets a 1-1 one, one counter, and he's a 4-1. He explodes for four and leaves a 2-2 two, two behind him. Uh, very, very useful right there, and we can make it even worse as we go. I'll show you some combo plays with him. We got to go with the old standbys. We're going aggro. We're going prowess. We got to put Monastery Swift Spear in here. I wish she wasn't so good, but damn, is she good. One red, haste and prowess. One, two. Everything an aggro red card should be with a human monk. Um, listen, 
we got to put we got to put the we got to put the gold standards you know what i mean even though she's a common she's not gold uh we got to put the gold standards right here again also with monstrous rage yes probably i'm probably gonna call this the best mono red card to come out of eldraine is an uncommon this monstrous rage right here uh plus two until the end of turn and monster roll so that's a grand total of three one uh, part of it, an enchantment that gives you trample. 3-1 and trample as instant speed that will trigger Valiant and will trigger Prowess. We have both. So remember, Prowess, if you target a creature with something, it will trigger Prowess, like uh, it will trigger Valiant, and it will trigger Prowess. So a huge amount of damage right there that we can do with somebody suddenly for one red mana. I mean, you just can't beat it. It's so powerful. Speaking of gold standards, Lightning Bolt is not in print, so we're stuck with Shock. Uh, I have this lovely, um, I have this lovely uh, Japanese woodcut art right here. One red, two damage. As I always say, one red mana, six words, two damage. Shock deals two damage to any target. It will trigger prowess. It will kill those early plays. It will also um, potentially uh, do damage directly to face, which can be the death sentence for anybody that we need to do directly face damage to. We can also parent with our twin Inferno and get a triple trigger off for. Uh, prowess and do a lot of damage with it potentially so it is a good just stock standard red card right there cal still sword this that makes this deck technically a rakdos i'm almost never gonna cast him i don't really want to cast him i want burn together if they printed burn together without cal still sword i'd still put it in this deck uh well cal still sword is a 2-2 he comes in for whatever we don't really care uh burn together is what we want target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to any other target creep any other target then sacrifice it here's the interesting thing about the way this is worded it deals its power and then it gets sacrificed okay so um when we do that with hearthfire hero first of all we'll trigger valiant we'll give it plus one plus one let's say the uh, the hearthfire hero is four or even five potentially it does its damage which means it does five damage to an opponent and then it gets sacrificed, and when it gets sacrificed, it does five more damage. If you can get Heartfire Hero up to 10, it will instantly kill the opponent. It'll do 10 from that, and it'll do 10 from that, which honestly is not that hard. Play Felonious Rage on it, and play uh, and play Monstrous Rage on it, uh, and, and, and play uh, Monstrous Rage on it, double rage it, and all of a sudden, it's a 1-1, one, one, it goes to a 2-2, two, two, it goes to a uh, 5, I'm sorry, it goes to a 4-4, four, four, it goes to a 7, and then all of a sudden you do that, and maybe it's like, I think it's like it's to 8, and then you do 8 damage from this and 8 damage from exploding. That is a crazy combination piece to pull off right there that you can do. Again, that's one combo with Hearthfire and one combo with Callus. That's not counting all the other aggro plays we may be playing at the same time, pushing down range with damage, trampling over, doing fast damage, burn damage. That is kind of your finishing move. That's kind of the combo that we want to pull right there. So that is a very cool mouse pull. Um, Demonic Ruckus. Honestly, if you wanted to put more Demonic Ruckus, I'm not mad at you. I really like this OTJ cards. Uh, uncommon boost up cards stay winning, guys. Uh, these, these ones are really good plot you can basically play this on your first turn on the first uh on your first turn one red mana it goes away and you can pay it for zero you don't have to pay it for two red uh, a red and a blank right there a red in any color you can just pay it for one and then pay it any times it will trigger guess what it'll trigger valiant it'll give one one and have menace and trample that helps with evasion it gets through it puts its power through and when it dies we get to draw an extra card so honestly i'm not mad if you put three of these really i'm really not uh, <laughs> you know, it is very, very good, especially when you're dealing with exploding creatures or people that are removing because it lets you draw a card to replace whatever you may or may not have lost uh, to keep the flow of cards in your hand. And the number one thing you want to do with Mono Red is keep the flow of cards into your hand going. When you run out of gas, the fire dies, okay? It's important to remember that. So anytime that you can kind of keep um, the steady f stream of cars into your hand is always going to be a good piece right here. Here's another new, um, here's another new mouse right here. Ember Heart Challenger, one red and one, two, two, haste and prowess and valiant. So not only does this uh, have a valiant ability, if you target it, it gets the valiant. It has prowess, meaning that any, um, any, any non-creature spell you play, uh, is going to pump it up. A two drop haste and prowess is already good enough. That's pretty decent. 
Um, it's only slightly worse than Monastery Swift Spear because it is a 2-2 and it costs one more, but it has the Valiant ability. Whenever Emberheart Challenger becomes the target of a spell or ability, you can, uh, or ability you control for the first time each turn, exile the top card of your library. Until the end of turn, you may play that card. Now, remember what I was talking about running out of gas here? You play early with this thing. You do like a felonious rage on it with three or four mana left over. You pull a card off the top, guess what? You pull another monstrous rage. You pull another uh, shock or you pull another demonic ruckus or a cal seltzer. You start pulling cards. You get those bonus cards off the top, enhance it, make it more powerful, give it trample menace somewhere to get that evasion through and the haste, you are ready to go. There's also another trigger that you can do with Valiant, which I'm going to show you in a little bit here. Um, and... Uh, you can really, really start pushing down range. So mice really want to go aggro on here. They really do support red very, very much, which is nice. Three lightning strikes. Like I said, we don't have lightning bolt. We have shock and lightning strike. Uh, one red and one three damage to any target. Great. It'll trigger prowess. It'll do direct damage to face. It'll kill something with a three or less. You know what it is. It's pretty simple. It's pretty effective. Um, and uh, yeah, we're doing our big things there. I don't need to explain it anymore. Two twin furnos. I started the game with a little bit more, but I balanced them out. Um, Twinferno, extremely useful because you target a creature or you target a spell, basically. One red and one. Whenever you cast the next instant or sorcery, copy that spell. You may choose new targets. Um, instant or sorcery, that could be a felonious rage right there. Yeah, instant or sorcery, that could be a monstrous rage. So you could cast Twinferno and then cast Monstrous Rage, get two of them out, put it on Heartfire, put it on Ember Heart Challenger. They both get trampled. They both get the boost up. You get to trigger Prowess three times because three spells have gone off. Uh, Twinferno and two copies of um, and two copies of Monstrous Rage, which is an instant. So you can really pull off some surprising combos here with that one. Or target creature you control gains double strike until the end of turn. So if you have something big and you really want to get that trample or that evasion, like using Demotic Ruckus, with that menace and trample or anything like that, giving somebody double strike is hugely powerful. Again, hit him with the double strike, hit him double, and then blow it up with uh, throw the remaining double strike guy at him with burn together. You're going to be doing a big damage hit right there. The last one we're going to go for is Ren's Resolve. Again, you need to keep cards. The cards must flow. Um, you need to keep cards going. One red and one sorcery. Exile the top two cards of your library until the end of your next turn. You may play those cards you can pull cards off the top and then play them you've got to keep the flow of cards in your hand you've got to keep spells down range you've got to keep throwing fire at them throwing creatures at them you got to keep the pressure up that is super important for the strategy of this deck 15 mountains to rock face village this is important right here um rock face village is actually necessary i know i throw some in just for the hell of it but add one white mana or one not white mana but one uh, colorless or add one mana only to cast creatures, which is fine. I think two of them, it's not going to slow you down. Target Lizard, Mouse, Otter, or Raccoon gets plus one until the end of turn and gains haste. Activate only as a sorcery. Fantastic for any creature uh, that doesn't have haste, but also triggers Valiant. So it will actually give haste to Heartfire Hero. Um, and it will and it'll give plus one to uh, Ember Heart Challenger. The interesting thing about this, if you have no other spells to play... Uh, Doing, putting down Ember Heart Challenger, giving it plus one will actually trigger its Valiant ability, which lets you draw a card off the top and play that card potentially, which could be a lifesaver. So a great way to trigger Valiant when you don't have any spells to trigger Valiant, uh, because that is an ability that targets it. Whenever it becomes the target of spell or ability, that is a land ability. So you can double, you can have that constant on the board, ready to go, one red trigger Valiant constantly. So Consider Rockface Village, it is a good ad right there. Cavern of Souls, you could choose Mouse and Human. That's what we have in this. It's the only creatures we have in this deck, believe it or not. Uh, everything else is spells. Um, we'll talk about the sideboard in a second. Let's take a look under the hood here. Standard, as you knew, 1.5 average. You knew it was low to the ground here right there, right? Uh, 19 creatures. Again, humans and mice. Uh, of mice and men, I guess we could call it, right? Um, yeah, <laughs> I guess. I just realized that joke right now. Uh, yeah, if you like that, if you like that horrible literary pun of mice and men, uh, yeah. Um, goblins, that's the only other thing that was an outlier, an explosive goblin right there. 16 instants, four sorceries, three enchantments, 19 lands, and a 1.9. I've kept one land handers, meaning that I have one land in my hand, and, uh, I've still won. It doesn't need that much mana. When everything is either one or two, we're really, really, really doing stuff uh, uh, 
we're really doing big stuff right there. So sideboard, a braid, a booming blast is not a bad one. I actually don't mind that, giving someone a treasure. Two damage to target creature and three damage to its opponent. I like those creature than opponent uh, options right there. Um, not bad. Brotherhood's End for Clearing. You might want to put the, the clearing card right there to sweep out Boros Convoke. Nahiri's Warcrafting lets you cast a card off the top if you need to burn something up big, like a Sheldred. Voldaren Thrillseeker. I know people are going to say, why don't you put Voldaren Thrillseeker in this deck? It is an alternative. If you want to go less burn, if you want to do like one less uh, shock or something like that, um, you wanted to do one less shock and you wanted to do one less lightning stroke, I'm not mad at you with Voldaren Thrillseeker right there. A Braid is not a bad three damager also for the destroy artifact ability. And I also forgot about this too. Um, I forgot to put this one in, which was be Rabid Gnaw. I definitely think Rabid Gnaw is not a bad one. And I think a lot of people are going to say, why not that? Uh, plus one until the end of turn, then it deals damage equal to uh, its power to creature you don't control. When you're really, really powered up, that is absolutely a very effective way of getting damage down range. It will trigger vile. Uh, it will trigger. Um, it will trigger valiant. It will trigger prowess. It'll do damage. Maybe clear a blocker. Give plus one. Uh, it's not a bad one. I know why. It's, uh, I know people are saying, "How come it's not in there?" Uh, you know, it, it, it's in there. We'll put it in the sideboard. It'll work. It is certainly an option for you. So there is the vertical view, uh, horizontal view. We've been doing more horizontal view for your pleasure, right there. Um, but yeah, this one is all crammed on one side right there. So that's what we're looking at. I'm sorry I'm explaining these really long, but we have some new mechanics and new things in it. Here we go into the game. Uh, standard rank, let's climb that plat. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. I love to hear from you guys. Yeah, it is a fling deck and I'm not getting the fling combo. I still haven't got it twice, even though I have uh, the fling combo in it. Uh, mm. All right, so there is a fling combo. Let's do that. Boom, boom. Danny boy. More removal. We got the removal tribal here. Each player discards a card. Get rid of cavern. Boom. He's gonna play more removal on it. He can't help it. He can't fucking resist it, man. He can't he can't even stop himself from doing it. Yeah, there you go, man. Get rid of all your cards. Play this. Actually, you know what? Um... There we go. There we go. That's how we want to do it.
Yeah, the rat gain and drain is really good, especially that you have uh, Grave Caller or whatever it's called, that squirrel that does damage for each uh, each rat attacking, rat attack attacking. Um, you have a really good combo to do with rats here. Oh, you like that, John Paul? John Paul is impressed by this fling, man. He about that fling right here. I go first. Um, all right, let's see if we get our Hardfire Hero. Passage. Yeah, Ember. Okay. Probably a. Oh, a removal. Okay. My Ember Heart. Boom. Okay. So we do an Ember Heart and a Lightning Strike. Lunar Convocation. Very nice. Dream a Lunar Convocation. So, unless he exiles Heartfire Hero, he's dead. Hey, what's up, Numbskull? How you doing? Yeah. Pretty quick right here. How you doing, Aiden? How, what's up? I did the thing. Uh, there we go. That's the Diamond 3 right there. No cap prowess toxic is... is, he, is he, uh, Prowess is a toxic as fuck keyword. So, apparently there's an instant death combo with... Um, uh, Artisan. Have you heard about this? You might know about it. Um, uh, you might know about it, um, Numbskull, that if you play, <clears throat> if you play, uh, Vraska, the Planeswalker Vlas Vraska with Artisan's tr talent, you can instant kill. Just got Diamond by playing, by playing Mono Black and Standard. Yeah, Mono Black is, is in a great spot right now. Mono Black and Orzov are, are really good right now. I go first. I'm gonna have to mulligan this because of, of too few mana. Oh, I'll fucking do it. Why not? Do that. Mm. Okay. okay, here's a red. What, what do we think about the red? Alright. Um, do a Heartfire Hero. No red mana. Boom. Hey, what's up, Lord Stonescale? If skipping rotation was a mistake. This is where the drought begins. Oh, yeah. We've been flooding for a while, so we're going to have to find equilibrium one way or the other. You know? One way or the other, we're going to find we're gonna find our level there. Uh, Ember Heart Challenger.
Can he do 14 on two mana? Can he do 14 on three mana? Theoretically, yes. Theoretically, with Slickshot Show Off, he can. Uh, it is possible. With three mana, he absolutely can do that much. Yep. He did not get the third mana, though, apparently. Monster's Rage, boom, 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 there's nine. He's not gonna get it. I know it's insane to say turn three you can fucking shit out that much damage, but that's that's where we're at right now. That's That's the nature of the game. All right, let's try to let's try to lock in here, guys. Let's lock in. <clears throat> Ops goes first. That also sucks. Hey, what's up, uh? What's up, uh, Buggy Man, Buggy Man, Buggy Man, Man? If he plays the bat, I'm gonna be real pissed. He didn't play the bat. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Liliana, Liliana, we'll get rid of Twinferno. Twinferno might be a mistake. It's, it's not terrible, but... For what we're doing, it kind of eats up a lot of mana. Boom, boom. Our fire hero. Scamp. Put down. Jersey the Apocalypse. Interesting choice here. Um, each player discards a card. We'll choose Renz. Yeah, we'll and then you know what? Lightning Strike. He takes that. With his man, his talent. I got him here, though. I got him here. No, there's no, there's no escape. There's no escape for what's about to happen. There we go. Got him. Bugger man, 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 bugger Alright. We're dialing in. We're dialing in. I told you we get it dialed in. We'll dial we'll we'll we're dialing in, man. No worries. We're gonna get it. 
How we doing out there, YouTube? YouTube's kind of quiet right now. I see everybody, a lot of people watching, but they're 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 not uh, they're not uh, they're not chiming in. Feel free to talk, guys. I love hear, hearing from you. I love hearing from all of you. Assimilation Aegis and Sunfall, bro. I don't want to exile that much stuff, man. I gotta. Be, I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep it real with you, boss. I. I don't want to. Oh, Steve Bot, you missed it by like two seconds. I already hit it. I got it on the next one. Follow more girls. All men must die. Um. Yes, I. When it popped up on my screen, I had already clicked the thing. You're a little bit delayed. I got you next time. Remind me next time. Hey, what's up, Wud4? Hardfire hero. Why are all the ladder crab? They're not banned, they rotate it out. That's a natural part of. Um, uh, are there any Vilvile land destruction decks? Welcome to the B. Land destruction is going to be the domain of historic or timeless or limited or something like that. There really isn't a land destruction deck in standard. I'd recommend going to Strider Stone. Look up Strider Stone. He loves land destruction. It's his favorite thing to do. Hunter Sours. Um, I'm very interested to see what Mr. Um, uh... What Mr. Uh, Saveritz is playing, man. That is going to be very peculiar to me. I, I'm very interested in that. Alarm of Willis. Mr. Cthulhu, how you doing? Though they rotate it out. Yeah, that's a natural part of the process of uh, every September or end of the year. Yeah, but you're not going to find one in standard for sure. That's, that's going to be your biggest issue is... Human, Heartfire Hero, Boom. Deep Cavern fucking value. Damn, you open that many singles? Good for you, bro. Yeah, for that for that frog hop deck, you're you're really in trouble if you don't um if you don't get big things right away. The stash skeleton. Interesting. This dude's having a little bit of land struggle right now. Um, let's do this. Boom. Working on Campbell Profiteering Mayor deck for EDH. Interesting. That could be fun. I loved my Mardu Campbell deck. Well type for ice cream. Time for ice cream. Why? Because you're getting burned. Time for crab. A very nice. Okay, now we're now we're dialed in, guys. Now we're getting dialed in here. I like it. Um, believe it or not, we're 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 a little bit more successful on the draw. 
uh, where, which is odd for, for an aggro deck, but I guess we're more of a combo deck than anything else, so. All right, now we're dialed in, folks. Took a little bit, but we got dialed in. It took not flooding and playing mono black discard every single turn, but that did help a lot. By the way, my most successful deck of the new season, Lizards followed by Land Drop. The Rakdos Lizards was the most successful, followed by Rakdos Land Drop, followed by, um, uh, followed by probably Orzog Bats. But that Golgari Land Drop was very powerful. Very, very, very powerful. It, it really did hit hard. Well, this is mono red. Yeah, mono red on the draw winning is uh I mean they're technically I mean it's a technical rack though, but I don't I don't really consider it rack though. It, it would be a hard it would be hard for me to call this rack those smack those. Um push in. The Golgari Land Drop, listen, as I've said before with the Golgari Land Drop, it didn't win fast, but it won consistent. That deck was a steamroller. It just slowly, slowly crushed you. Everything that you threw at it, it just was like Like it it did not it 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 just slowly rolled over you. It was bad. Tiny bones joins up. I think we gotta get rid of the lightning strike. Boom. Okay, fatal passage. Not much there. Push. It's exciting to not have to worry about getting um, Path of Peril either. We might get temporary lockdown, but that's a whole other issue. Hopeless Nightmare. Peril. Yeah, I know, Steve Bot. I know, Steve Bot. P Path of Peril was a staple, man, but uh, its time ran out. Its time ran out. Mono Black went up today. Very effective. And I think Cottonmouth, I think I could get a Golgari Cottonmouth Proliferate to be even worth, by the way. Rottenmouth. Um, Rip Meat Hook. De pff, tell me about it, dude. Now, me personally. Hey, what's up, V-Beating? Uh, me personally, um, 
Trexodactyl misses Invoke to spare more. I miss Meat Hook more. Meat Hook was a gain and drain, so and I love the Meat Hook massacre. Demonic, I think Demonic, uh, whatchamacallit, was a big part of getting where we needed to go here. Heartfire Hero. Okay, so he's doing, he's doing the thing. We're gonna do that. Boom. 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 Okay. He's gonna do, he's doing another Heartfire. Heart's on fire. He's probably gonna boom it. Probably gonna boom it. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. All right, we're gonna wait and blast one of them when we get the chance. We're not drawing land here. Thirty-five percent chance. Yeah, they gave all the white sweepers, and yeah, we still have we still have one white sweeper. That is, I mean, we still we still have one black sweeper, which is you know at least that's something, right? I'm doing it with one mana, folks. Rip blood on the snow, yeah. Trex, uh, not Trex, but uh, watch McCall misses that one too. Um, What do you know? A fucking another card. What? What an amazing. Uh, what an amazing concept. Another card. Um. Block that with that. Um. Can't win it with one mana, guys. I'm sorry. Eleven off the top, and, and one mana can't be done. It's technically it's technically Rakdos. Hey, listen, man, I gotta try everything except Simic. The Rose Karibo. And does he have a burn? No, he doesn't have a burn right there. So. Draw the explosion. We drew the explosion. We would have got him there. Um, Monastery Swift Spear. Vindicator does the job for you. Vindicated. I am selfless. I am raw. Man, I love Spider Man 2. It was really good. Unpopular opinion Spider Man 2 was a good Spider Man movie. I know, I know it's very controversial. I know it's a controversial take right there. But Spider-Man 2, good Spider-Man movie. Don't cancel me, guys. I love how everyone sat back and let Nadu cook for a bit, and then it's like, huh, look at all these Nadu decks. Bro, Nadu is a symptom in a long problem of... <clears throat> of... Um, a, long, a long issue of... Simic broken cards. Simic seems to want to put a mechanic in the game that essentially says, uh, hey, um, you know, 
we would like to... I want to ramp and draw a card. And anytime they ever make a card that says, I'm going to ramp and draw, it's broken. I, I don't like every single card that goes, ramp this card and then draw a card. They're fucking broken. Every time they play them, like every time they do them, it's, it's like that. So I don't know... I don't really get why they keep insisting on doing them, because every time they do, it always ends up fucked up. So, <laughs> it, is a, it is a bit of a mystery um, as to why they keep attempting these... Whenever this happens, you draw a card and play a land. It's, it's too much ramp, it's too much options and availability for, for what you're doing with the, with the game. Um... You know, I, I, I just, you can't, you, you get too powerful. You know? Yeah. What if, hear me out, what if we combine the two most powerful elements in one card and make it super easy to activate? Let me finish. The mechanics get activated more and more, keep possibly more ramping. What do you think? Yeah. So, I mean, they made Growth Spiral into a person. They already banned Growth Spiral, and they're like, what if Growth Spiral, except it was a person and it gave its ability to every other card in the game? Like, I, I don't... You, you banned Growth Spiral for being fucking busted, and then you said, but what if we did it even harder? Um... Yeah, I, I mean, I've loved discard since the beginning. One of my favorite decks was from like 1997, 98. It was called Assassins, Death Card, uh, Discard Phyrexians. Ooh, so good. Probably gonna play that. What's he gonna play on this, though? Heart. He's gonna hit the Ember Heart. That 
sucks. Alright, we're gonna do that. Yeah, I was hoping he'd go for me, because that, that would have left me in a better position. Manifold Mouse can be very busted, absolutely, yeah. The fact that it only works with mice is, I think, the only... Um, is the only... Is the only real downside to it, is that it only works with mice. Um, so... Oh, fuck it, we'll risk it. Hey, look, we risked it okay. Five, boom. Boom. Ooh, Ember Heart Challenger. Gonna go in, he's probably got a trampler on there. Yeah. We got we got outgunned here. Definitely got outgunned here. Um. You're gonna take that fucking long. I'm not gonna wait for you. Close one. Yeah, I I feel like I was outplaying him a couple of times there, but. Uh, um, again, the, the mana is an issue. Well, this loss to the mouse is no joke. Yeah, the mice are tough, man. The mites got wrath, man. They're wrath mice. All right, so we are gonna wait. Yeah, I, I again, like I said, the the biggest issue with it is that it um is that it uh otter ball. Okay. Otterly adorable right here. The biggest issue that I really have with it is that um, is that it only works on mice. That's its biggest downfall. that counter spell.
Jin. Artfire Hero. Put down another one. Damn! I don't know why I fucked that up. Okay, let's go. Deuce. Souls, same mouse. Can't be countered. Boom. And he's out of there. And he's out of there. Okay. Very nice. One more to cap it off. How about a nice nightcap of one more? How are we building on the format? I am much happier with standard. People are playing cautious right now. They're playing a lot of mono black. They're playing a lot of uh they're playing a lot of protection and stuff like that. Um you know, but uh it it it's not too terrible. It is better, man. I, I honestly just the oppression of like barely anyone is playing Azorius control. That that's the that's the good news. Um Man, I go first. This is a good hand if I get another mana. That's the funny thing. Uh, fuck it. Fuck it, that. Why not? Boop, 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 boop. Three to keep, whatever, man. It's the last game of the night, you know? Uh, we'll go with the Ruckus. Okay, he mulliganed. Black, Nightmare, that's fine. We'll get rid of... You know what? We'll get rid of Shock. Okay. Got the scamp. I think he's not going to be able to resist blowing that up. I think he's not going to be able to resist exploding that. I think he's he's not going to be able to uh, stop himself from blowing it up. I think he loves it. I think he fucking loves it. Or he's going to play a shell dude right now. Bad. Hmm. Yeah, I knew he couldn't help himself. He couldn't help himself. Is, is he going to discard or is he going to sack? Was that? 
that's the nice feature. Oh, that's the trick play with the Ember Heart Challenger right there. Ooh, <laughs> the greedy one mana keep still pops him off right there. Oh man, the greedy keep comes home. Oh, you love to see it, guys. Greed is good, man. You know, they said that in the 80s, and nothing in the 80s has ever ruined modern day life. Oh, Vaultborn Tyrant. I think that's my last Vaultborn Tyrant right there. I think I got a full play set. Very nice. Hey, how you doing, Vulcan? All right, guys, we're going to leave it right there for tonight. Oh, yeah. Um, we got a lot of trick plays on this one, guys. I think we've pretty much dialed it into where we need to be. Uh, very fun. A lot of new stuff. A lot of explosions. I know Mono Red's not too popular, man, but um, I'm Mouse Mono Red. You know what I mean? We're, we're, we're getting it mousy in here. We're getting it crazy. Um, and I like the throw aspect. It's technically a Rakdos, even though I'm really not I'm running it Mono Red. But either way, I hope you like it. Um... It's a fun one, guys. I've been J-Villain. You've been great. The mice are here, and they are not nice. Not nice mice. Maybe that's what we'll call it. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.